Hello everybody and welcome back to the darkest dungeon we are here again within this truly cursed estate. And we are ready to take on yet another boss. We're going against the Gibbering Prophet today. I've put together a team that I think should be pretty good. Um, and I'm kind of ready to go. So I'm going to check over the team and the trinkets again before we do. But first of all, we have quite a lot of diaries today. Um, both about the hag being killed by Sixth and, of course, the death of Rune. Uh, lots and lots to go into in terms of diaries today. Thank you all out there for writing uh, for this series. It's been really good. But let's jump into it. First of all... Sophia, otherwise known as Cell previously on this series, has written um, for the uh, battle against the hag. As the battle raged through the clearing in the weald, gunshots and the clanging of sword on metal rang out, reaching all the way to the hamlet. It was the chorus of battle, if there was ever one. The sickening smell of Barbara's boiling flesh hung in the air, mixed with the metallic scent of life blood. Arik danced around the hag, slicing at her any time an opening showed itself. He sprung out of the way um, as a great crack filled the air. The hag in his entire lower right leg was blasted away by a single bullet. Inky black growth sprang out from the wound and pulled the hag off balance. Arik ducked in and sliced once, twice, three times. The cuts were so precise that almost no blood even left the wounds as the Achilles tendon in the hag's remaining heel was severed. Enraged, she swung out with her massive meat tenderizer, completely obliterating the ground where Arik had stood just moments before. A shadow leaped from the undergrowth, only visible as a blur. The shadow landed as twin trails of blood shot out of the hag's left arm. Sixth dagger swang, uh, sang with the sound of a bird's shriek as they dripped red. Before the hag could even cry out, Sixth left, leapt with a blinding speed and sprung, shredding the, hag, uh, the shredding the hag's right arm. The two streams of blood and hissing daggers made it seem as if two um, sinus crimson snakes had been the ones to attack. Sixth landed before the hag uh, and stared her in the eye. The hag coughed up blood. Well, you've won, little beast. Pity. You are my greatest tool. I... Cut off, sick, ceremoniously slit her throat before walking away, leaving her to bleed out in the mud. Amazing. That is a fantastic diary. I absolutely loved that. That battle was amazing. I'm so glad we got to take sick out on that one, and I'm so glad he landed the killing blow. It was, that was just awesome. That was amazing. We have a few more to go at, but first of all, I'm going to go over this rather large one again from Sophia. Um, over the rune, over Rune's death, because there's quite a lot going to it here. Manold, Rind, and Matthew stood solemnly over their body of the comrade. No, their friend. Rune had been the, uh, the best of all of them, but alas, that mattered not to death. Manold was the first to speak. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Ryan looked away from the mass of flesh that had once been Rune. It was my fault. I I should have been able to heal him better. No, lad, don't blame yourself, said Matthew. Look at him. His heart and most of his organs have exploded. You wouldn't have been able to prevent any of that. Whatever that pig bastard did, it caused him to pop like a grape. I know, but still, I should have been able to do something. Manold looked over at the two and spoke firmly. Listen, we can't go back and have people think that wee little bitch was the one that killed our rune. He deserved a better death, and that's what we're going to give him. Wait, you're not saying you want me to... Ryan whispered nervously. Fuck no, Arnold exclaimed. He motioned to the others closer and spoke in a hushed tone, as if telling them a dark personal secret. Rune was mortally wounded fighting the beast, as we were all bloodied and just barely hanging out onto our lives. He waved at the headless corpse of the swine god, but in his last moments, Rune brought that beast down with him, shearing its head right off. That is the story we tell when we return. Only us three will know the truth. His first face turned to a grimace, and we will take it to our graves. The other men gulped, nodded. Manol continued, We all owe Rune our lives. The best we can do is make sure he is remembered as a legend. Matthew looked puzzled. There was a problem with that, though. None of us looked like we were just beaten to within an inch of our life. Ryan, you know which spots will bleed the most but won't kill us, right? I suppose... Ryan replied nervously. 
Well then, Mr. Swine God. Rough us all up a little bit. The following day, Rune's empty casket was lowered into his grave. Everyone at the hamlet was present. Trell even caught sight of Chasey, watching from the shadows. Again, an absolutely fantastic diary and just marvellous writing. It's so upsetting to see someone as legendary as Rune fall to the fates of the Swine God, but these are the harder bosses. We've got to be ready. But this time, I'm going in a little more prepared, or at least I hope so. The, full, uh, the Gibbering Prophet is a boss that I know can dish out insanely high damage um, with, the, with the rocks that he falls on everyone. So what I've done is I've put together a team that should hopefully be able to out-damage and also out-defend him. First of all, we've got Will June. Will June is going to be our main healer here. Uh, I, I, I've, I've sort of thought about who else could really fit the role in terms of healing, but Will Will has a specific interest in the um, in the ruins, and I realise he has probably been out recently. I can't remember if we took him out for the necromancer or not. I, I can't remember, but either way, I think Will has a specific interest in in the uh, in the, the the ruins. So we're bringing we're bringing Will out with the uh, silver syringe along with the predecessor's Will, which I think is going to help quite nicely. We've then got um, Renault, who again has a specific tie to the uh, ruins, and he's coming with Smite and his Holy Lance uh, and f um, the Focus Ring. This is going to add plus six crit if light is above uh, 75, which it always will be. Another plus five there and another plus five there. So we should be on pretty high crit chance with all of these in place and landing very, very heavy hits. And then to pair nicely with that, we have Anguis who is coming out with the Ancestor of Sidget Ring that we recently got from killing the Swine God, giving that extra prot and accuracy, as well as that plus 25 to prot, because he has kind of a low base HP. Um, and yeah, this should be quite nice. We should hopefully see, with high dodge and everything, and the, the ability to move forward and back so easily, um, I think we should have an okay time here, being able to, um, being able to move forward and back and, and let Renault do his thing, essentially. Um, yeah, I think I think this should work quite nicely. Uh, one thing we do have to sort of think about is speed. So you, uh, of course, Angus has a lot more speed. So maybe we should start him off in the back, uh, just to make sure that he goes first and is able to pierce forward. Um, but I think I think this is gonna this is gonna work out nicely. What I might do is I might switch out. Um, I might switch out this for Adder's Kiss. Oh no, both of those are only used from position one. That doesn't particularly matter. Okay, so that should be pretty good. Uh, maybe what I will do, even though it's not a great uh, a great way of doing it, I might take off Puncture and just put on Captive. Just in case I don't want to move, I want to be able to use a move that doesn't move me because everything else does. Um, I think that's a, a pretty good idea. Um, and then, of course, in the front line, uh, we have Bertholdt who is, of course, mourning the loss currently of Rune. I'm sure he is devastated, and um, we'll get into more of that as we go. But he is going to be using the Last Light to provide small amounts of healing, but mainly buffs to protection with the uses of um, Bolster and Command. And he's also going to be using Defender here to guard and provide protection, which should hopefully give a good amount of stuff. And then we've got plus protection on him as well, just so he can really tank an absurd amount of damage when he has to protect someone. So let's jump on in. I'm hoping this team um, is going to be the team that we need, the team that we want. Um, we, we shall see. Let's jump into our provision screens and see what we end up getting. Let's bring all of these. We'll bring six, 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 and six. And I'm actually going to bring in six Loudenum as well. Just because Loudenum in this area can be more important. There are some really hard custom enemies in the ruins that I'm I'm not quite prepared for. But yeah, we do have two more diary entries to get into um, just as we go on here. I believe um, one or two more. I think I think it's actually just the one more. We'll get into that soon again about Rune's death, but we'll we'll see how that goes. But anyways, let's jump on in. Let's embark and see how we do here. I'm a little bit scared, but we gotta go. Uncommon corporeal resilience. I lured him to the dig. There, I showed him the thing and detailed the full extent of my plans. Triumphantly, I watched as he tore his eyes from their sockets and ran shrieking into the shadows, wailing maniacally that the end was upon us all.
My god. Yeah, I'm actually really nervous, because we we're we bringing out some pretty key players. Will and... Um, Will and... Renault are two are two characters that play a very big role in our story. Berthold, even Anguis has been here a long time too, so I'd very much hate to see them go. But I think these are the best people for the job by far. I think we, we've got the defense necessary and everything else. Uh, let's give that to you. Give you a big old buff to your damage. Uh, and I think, I think essentially we should be able to out-damage him more than anything. That's kind of my hope. We've brought together three this uh Bethel can do some damage but these two are just they can output some seriously hard hits uh of course the courtyard is still prevalent um and we're gonna have to deal with that at some point soon but for now let's just hope we can get some quick kills nice one Renault. A, a quick kill off the bat hopefully as well this team does have relatively high dodge so we should see some good stuff from that also we got this too which is gonna buff damage accuracy and crit um, yeah, let's get that there. We are going to see some stuns coming in here, but we... Sh I was going to say, hopefully not someone that's already been... But at least it's not our healer. At least it's not our healer. The Thirst coming in. I'm sure we'll end up seeing a Crimson Curse, just because why wouldn't we? <laughs> I'm sure. Um, but let's, let's just hope and pray that we don't. Uh, then we can get one of these in. We can go for a guaranteed kill on one of these, so let's just go for it. Yes, 52 is an insane crit, and that's the sort of thing we want to see against the Prophet. Uh, we're going to heal party. Huge heals coming from Will. That's going to be like a cornerstone of this run. We're just going to have absolutely massive heals going on. Um, and I'm actually going to buff everyone's uh, stuff and give them, give them healing and prop. That's going to be a big play for a lot of for a lot of the time that we spend in the ruins here. Giving that prop slight healing and bonus stats. Um, mixed with the bloom, it's going to be insane stats. Really, really good stuff. Just keep healing up. Go for some big hits there. You, you do have some props, so we're going to see some, some of that from you. But there you go. We go for a finish there. Minus 50 dodge is kind of crazy, but we should be okay. Um, and there you go. A crit from Anguis. And exactly what we want to see. Let's keep pushing forward ever more. Hopefully we should be okay here. Open that up. Just after after losing Will's someone like Rune, measure. it just it makes me reevaluate everything. Like I, I really brought Rune into that dungeon thinking he was gonna be insanely good. Right, we're gonna have to take out the burn bearer as soon as possible. Um but yeah, I really brought him thinking he was gonna be the savior, but unfortunately he didn't quite he didn't quite cut it. Um I'm gonna go for the kill there rather than the heal. I think it's more important. Um, and let's do this. Let's get Bolster going. Nice buff to our dodge for the entire battle, which is just amazing. This guy's probably going to end up um, giving us the watch thing, but we'll we'll try and avoid that if we can. Foul warding. That's okay. We, we can bypass that if we switch up our skills, but we don't need to do that at the moment. Uh, let's just do that. Because we've got to remember as well, Divine commun uh, Communion gives um, dodge too. I'm just going to go for the kill on this guy and, and power through him. I think that's best. I have accidentally messed up here. I don't know why these two are up front. I don't know when I did that. <laughs> I There we go. Observed. I was expecting that. Maybe maybe a block on the observed. Yeah, resisted it. Nice one. Uh, yeah, I don't exactly know when I got Berthold into the back position here, but I'm going to have to make sure that I don't do that in the future because that messes up, messes up our ability to use Holy Lands and we need that for the, um, the profit. Good damage. Obviously no bleed, but that's fine. Nice dodges again. That dodge bonus is always going to play a big part for us. Destroyed. Nice kill on you. Getting that burn bearer down so early was like key as well. Okay. Bayonet jab, that's okay. Uh, let's just go for the party heal, make sure everyone's tipped off before we end this fight. Sedated. We should be good here. There you go. Another crit. We should see a lot of crits come from this group as well. We got ourselves uh, the Resonant Trumpet as well. Interesting. Uh, that's going to give us friendly skill buff. Interesting. So it's it's trading HP off. Trading your own life for buffing your team. That's kind of an interesting play style there. I do like that trinket a lot. Um, 
Of course, we're going straight for the boss here. I'm going to try and take the road less travel um, and see if we can make sure that we don't. 95 is pretty damn good, yeah. Um, see if we can skip out on as many fights as possible on the way here. We want to. We want our team in absolute tip-top shape. And if possible, we maybe want to not camp. Like, maybe not because there is some really good stuff here. Um... But we'll see, we'll see. There is some very, very good stuff here with uh, with Bertholdt's abilities that would make it very, very nice for us. So may maybe we'll uh, we'll end up we'll end up camping anyways. So the thirty percent damage is nice, but I think extra what would it be? Uh, extra crit chance and damage, and then extra dodge and crit chance. Yeah, that's very worthwhile, especially the crits. I mean, getting fifty two crits on an enemy, uh, especially the boss, could be crucial. Okay, kind of an annoying stress setup here, but we're getting the surprise. I'm not sure exactly where the surprise is coming from. I think we're just getting lucky, to be honest. Uh, let's buff you and make sure you can guarantee a kill early on. Um, yeah. Ho -ho! Okay. 69 damage is insane. Um, I think we set up Bolster again here. Go for those dodges. That should always be our kind of key player with, uh, with Bearfall here. Knife in the dark. We dodge it, though. Don't worry about that. Bump in the dark. We dodge that, too. Ah. <laughs> I tried to predict it. We also, we've got to make sure that we keep enough torches going um, to light ourselves up later in the boss fight. We want to stay above 75 to get our bonuses. I think that's very important. Finish you off. Luckily, no stress received so far. We're doing very well for stress. I'm just going to go for damage here. Bethel, as I said, can still output some decent damage if he's not in defense mode. He can still do a very, very good job. And in a position like this, it's nice that we have the um, the Inspiring Cry to remove stress. It, it doesn't matter all that much, to be honest. Especially get two tens in a row. It doesn't matter all that much, to be honest, but it's nice when it's available. So that's, that's our problem there. We don't want to do what we just did there. It doesn't really matter for this fight, to be honest. Yeah. That's fine, because you've just pushed Crusader into position. Buff him up more. See what sort of damage we can do with this boy. 38 crit. There you go. Executed. Ooh, okay. Another very, very rare trinket. Um, get rid of the citrine. What's this do exactly? Let's have a little look-see. Plus 20 maximum HP. Plus uh, 3 speed. Plus 8 dodge. That's pretty good. Plus 20 maximum HP and plus 3 speed is, is pretty good on its own. Uh, let's rearrange again. We just got to be careful with Angus and, and realize when captive is better to be used. In fact, sometimes it might even be worth skipping turn. I, I doubt it, but there is going to be times where I think that might end up being a, a correct player. With loot are often low on supplies. Um, one, what, just one moment. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it'll definitely be this top one. Just I thought it would be, but I just had to count it out and make sure. So we don't want to go any ways uh, that we don't have to, essentially. But two pretty good trinkets so far. That's nice. To be spent. And some good money as well. Everyone eat up. Jump in here, see what we've got. The scouting's very nice at the moment. We're doing well on that front. A handsome reward. Unfortunately, not much given there. Disarmed again, beautiful. Okay, keep torching up. This is this is um, our first hard fight, and we do have um, some. New difficult aims. I'm actually going to take out the burn lancers first because I think I don't know what these guys do, but these guys I know are problematic. Um, they they can't bleed. We're not even going to hit them for that much damage. I don't think it's worth it. I think it's just worth buffing you up. Let's see what sort of damage we end up doing first. Um, but this is actually a result of um, of Alamia um, experimenting with bringing stone structures back to life. She's brought some. Uh, some rather um, rather foul beasts to the ruins that we weren't expecting. This can almost kill one of these. Unfortunately, we got a very low roll there. Um, the cackle, we dodged it, though. I don't know what that does, but it does give plus horror amount. I'm going to assume it applies horror, then. But this is why, we, why we're why we happy we brought Loudenham. 
Okay, our, our dodges are, are so good right now. Our dodges are so good right now. This team is hardly getting hit. Cruel Mockery is going to be our first big bit of stress. That is an insane amount of stress. Definitely want to finish you off. That is an insane amount of stress. That's 22. So we're, just to get rid of some of that, we're going to use that Loudenum here. We're going to buff you up again because we haven't taken damage quite yet. Cruel Mockery. Over three rounds. Definitely get rid of that. What sort of damage can we do here? Not much. Let's just buff everyone then. Spear thrust. There's a hit. There's our first bit of damage. It's okay. We're, uh, we're alright. Nice one. Back up to tip top shape. Getting rid of some of that stress. I'm kind of interested to find out what that does, but I'm also very glad it's missing. The plus horror amount is really what's what's hurting us. I really should be focusing down him, to be honest, but... I was just about to say, Renault can kill him in one hit if he gets a crit, so... And this guy is going down. But we're seeing some more difficult enemies, and like I said, um... Our Lamia. Been doing some experiments. And causing some issues. There you go. Grab that. Be wary. This is stress relief. This is stress relief and healing, I think. We don't need that. Okay, so it seems like we're going to have at least one more battle before the boss. Maybe two. We should still camp, I think, even though we're going to lose this damage bonus. This is a hard fight. Uh, menacing gargoyles. Again, similar story as before. They can be kind of difficult. Buff your damage up. Um, we can actually kill the gargoyle in a single hit if we're lucky. We didn't, but we could have done. Huge crit against that guy. I'm actually just going to finish you off rather than giving us our buffs. I know that the dodge is important, but there's there's been tweaks to what how the gargoyles work within the mods that I'm using, so I know that they can be pretty difficult now, and we want to be getting rid of them when we can. Got you. Heal up the party. Make sure everyone's looking good. Skull toss coming in. We did unfortunately take the hit there. That's that's okay. We resist the stun. Nice dodge. Get another big crit on you for an easy kill. The turning point. I think we do this just to give us everyone that healing at the end of the, of the battle. Let me do that. Okay. Um, nothing. Honestly, I'm fine for the money. It's not great, but I'd rather just leave it as is. Uh, right. So we go in here. <clears throat> didn't didn't mean to use that torch. That was kind of a useless torch. We camp up. We dark. don't need to eat full. The We're fine on stress. So let's go. All companions, extra damage and chance of crit. We got the damage there. And unfortunately, we didn't get the crit here. Uh, and then also extra dodge and extra crit. And then let's see what else we could do that would uh, that would benefit the group. I don't know if he has any armor, so I don't know if armor piercing matters, but I'll do that anyways, and I think we're good to go. Just a small In rest may we find before we head onwards, and I think we're ready. Well, there might be one more fight here. We've got to be ready for one more fight. No, we got lucky. No more fights. Right. We're ready. We need to be prepared. So the, the, the genuine tactic for this fight is output as much DPS as possible. Make sure we don't get Renault ac accidentally too close to the front. Um, and whenever we see uh, someone that, we, that we're worried about HP-wise, pop the, uh, the guard ally. Which, in, fa in fact, we'll probably end up doing that most of the time anyways. The only person we don't really have to worry about that for is probably Renault, because he's got very high base HP. But even still, we should probably do it if it ends up happening. We can switch positions of people in order to, um, in order to switch who gets hit, because it hits a position, not a player. Uh, but we'll see how this goes. So that's our first one. Renault can probably take this even if it's a crit, I think. 58 on the first is great, so we're getting Angus here instead. I think we buff damage still. I think we go with that. Another crit. This is this is fantastic so, so far. I actually think we go, we go for bolster first. I'm hoping Renault will be okay here. I've trusted him. 
Eye on you is going to be stress and stun. The so stun's obviously more problematic. Rubble of Ruin. We did get the dodge. That's exactly why I thought Bolster would be a good pick. And it lasts for the battle too. We've all got plus 20 for the battle, which is incredible. Um, we'll go for that again. Yet another crit. And stupid. Didn't mean to do that. I've got to be careful about what I do next here. Um... I know, it's, I know it seems dumb, but hear me out. Oh. We've, got a, we've got a guard here. We've got a guard. I played this a bit stupid. I, I made a mistake there. Rubble of Ruin. Nice dodge, people. That's great. Okay, that's fine, because you've got the plus to your prop. Let's move you back one. Impressive. We don't really care about killing the pews, by the way. It's nice if we can get it, but we, we don't care. Um, we go for the party heal. We up our light as well. The is lit. The path is clear. We might not be able to get the protection off in time here, so we'll swap position. 27, that's good. We might get Rebel of Ruin here, but we've dodged everyone so far. We can't bank on that, of course. That's not a good idea. Unfortunately, Bearthalt's stunned, so we're taking the damage no matter what. There's another dodge. Bearthalt coming in clutch with the dodges here. He really is. Rebel of Ruin coming again on the air. We'll try and go for another protection here. Um, you're fine on that. Honestly, set up damage again. We're doing so well for that right now. If we can get another crit here, this might just eat this out. 40 and a non-crit. I on you, that's going to hurt. Should be able to get the protection off on our air, though. Indeed, we can. Good stuff, just in case we take the hit. Rubble of Ruin coming in. And there's that first damage. Only seven damage. Perfect. With the amount of prot he's got going on right now, which I think is near to 100%, I'm not going to lie. 80, <laughs> yeah. Takes 80% less damage on hits. And there you go, we finish him out. I didn't go for any of the pews, but we came into this very prepared. And as you can see, it paid off. When we fought the pig, when we fought the pig himself, we were nowhere near as prepared, and it should. We brought someone that we didn't know if would work or not, and it caused issues. We ended up... We ended up... Uh, Playing some wrong moves and making some wrong skill choices, and we paid dearly for it. But this time, we came in, we used we used our knowledge of previous battles. We used our knowledge of the skill sets of our Hamlet and brought out a team that very clearly were very well prepared for this fight. So, we head back to the, uh, the Hamlet, and we come back victorious, and Bertholdt, with his head held high, Feeling like he's done justice to what happened to Rune. Very, very nice. Renault makes his way to level 6. Amazing. Very well done, people. Very well done, indeed. Okay, let's quickly unequip. But that was uh, that was very well done. I'm very, very happy with that. Let's quickly check our trinkets, make sure there's nothing there. That right there is pretty amazing. I don't believe we have that already. Let me just go and check. Um... Where's our werewolf? Canis. There's Canis. I don't believe Canis has any um, class-specific trinkets that are look like that at the minute. Uh, let's quickly sort by character. Yeah. Okay, so I think we definitely want to buy that. That seems very, very useful for her. Very, very useful indeed. Um, the Jester with the plus 10 crit, plus 20 prot. That's quite interesting. Uh, nothing much there we want other than that. Uh, actually, let's quickly ch check for another syringe in case there is one. There isn't. And let's check our stage coach to see if we've got any new recruits. We do. We are bringing on the Fiend. We're bringing on the Fiend here. Uh, an interesting class that I'm kind of excited to use that was suggested by a few people. Um, and we're also bringing on... We've got a Janissary here. We'll bring on a Janissary. And we've also a got a new Sunlight Warrior. If one is to master the brutal arithmetic of combat. I'm interested to find out how those guys end up working together. But anyways, the last diary for today. By, ah, yes, this guy again. 
The bar was full that night and no one and no one was laughing or even talking. When you come here you typically hear heroes celebrating about the battles they've won. Or maybe some come in half mad spewing nonsense. But this was clearly different. The heroes went on the last exposition barely were barely holding themselves together. I heard the news. Man, I would never suspect that Rune of all people would die out and die out in an expedition against that creature. Ryan was holding his skull candle tightly in his hands. He made no noise whatsoever. Matthew bandaging up his dog was sh with shaking hands and muttering to himself, and Manold was drowning himself in alcohol. That was when the doors bursted open, and a small creature covered in a cloak stepped in. It was seemingly apologizing to everyone in the bar, but when it came to the survivors, the creature spoke in broken English and begged for forgiveness. Manold confused, asking why he's apologizing. The creature removed its cloak, revealing to be one of those pig creatures that those heroes sometimes talked about. Manold, upon seeing the creature in his drunken rage, pulled out his pistol and pulled the trigger. However, in that instant time froze. A huge crystal rose from the ground, blocking the bullet. And as if ha um, happened, the scarecrow that I thought was just decoration floating from its seat and started glowing in bright blue light. Then some runes started to appear on the floor, and I couldn't understand them, but they left a message in my mind. You'll not harm this creature, for he is innocent. If you do harm him, this vessel shall reveal what you do not want to be known. After this, Manold stormed out in a rage, and the little pig apologize, um, apologized and thanked the scarecrow quickly and left the bar. The runes faded from existence and the crystal melted. I surely hope Manold doesn't harm anyone. And that's by the bartender. So if you remember just a few weeks back, a little piggy came to town and spoke of wanting to join, but unfortunately he was ill-experienced. And of course, one of his very kind was who laid the, uh, the blur on Rune. Unfortunately, no one in the town, well, more so fortunately, no one in the town knows of that fate, but still. It's solemn that he's come by to pay his respects and say sorry for what his people have done. Either way, fantastic episode today in terms of what we've achieved, but also absolutely fantastic in terms of the diaries that have been put forward by some of the people of the community. Again, as always, I really, really respect and appreciate everyone that gets involved. Um, Cell or Sophia, uh, always jumping in every now and again, just every few weeks, and just absolutely blowing it away with the amazing writing. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one.